Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a chit chat, lay my wig with me. And um, it's late. It's like 11.05 to be exact. But I have an appointment tomorrow at the DMV for a new driver's license picture because I lost my wallet at HD Tings, okay, which had my IDs in it. Um, So I literally am laying this wig so tomorrow I can be like the baddest bitch possible for my picture tomorrow so i'm excited i'm gonna lay the fuck out of this wig and we're gonna talk about how to be a bad bitch after a breakup okay first things first this is my wig right here right i got my wig custom made by my boo lace by bae i love it i love her we're fine ass. okay and now i'm about to spray some um bow hold lace tint and medium brown on there i just gotta spray this right quick before i get the laying because i need this to like really sit up here changing colors I'm gonna spray the hell out of it because I just got to. So I'm gonna just take some got to be glued right quick. This is the black kind and I'm about to just push my edges back as much as I can. I'm gonna put the ball cap up here first. Sometimes I do the ball cap, sometimes I don't. It just really depends on how I'm feeling that day. And today I'm just feeling like the ball cap. So let's go for it. I fucking hate that. Oh. I know you fucking lie. I just blow dried it on cool. It really didn't do nothing, but you know what? It don't matter. Don't worry about it. It don't matter. We finna put a stocking cap right over that hole anyway. I don't want to eat out. Now, since my makeup already done, I'm gonna try to like not do the wig cap like crazy because usually I like put it over my whole face and then I be looking crazy when I do that. But I'm because I need my makeup to stay correct. Because I like to get high and take pictures after my hair done. So um, I just want to give you a little bit of backstory. I got married when I was 19. I posted on Twitter. We went viral on Twitter for the first time. Like I'm 19, he's 21. It's possible. You know, things like that. We were happy. We were young. We were just kids, really. So I was married for six years. Like damn near on the dot, really because we split like right on our anniversary. So we broke up and it was like not the easiest breakup because it was a public breakup. And um, that kind of taught me that I don't really ever want a public relationship ever again. Okay, so usually I use scissors for this, but I don't really feel like I wanna go get them, so we'll just use this little hair razor and we'll cut this cap off. Um, But yeah, so, oops, look at that. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? It's not dry. Um, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. You know, cause who really needs a bald cap and things, you know? I mean, who really needs a wig cap? Don't worry about it. Who needs that? Not me, I need a wig cap. <laughs> You know what? No. Uh uh. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this the right way. I'm I got another wig cap. We're gonna do this the right way, period. And this time we're just only spraying. Got to be. I need to put something. Fuck. It's like my favorite thing to do is split the little ear part. It's just so satisfying to like put your ear in that little hole. It's a little ear hole. Oh my lord, good gracious. I'm gonna glue the whole wig cap onto my forehead, y'all. Oh my God, it's not supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be like this. All right, now. This is on, I think. See, nope, girl, you thought like shit. Should I do the foundation on there first? I'm probably gonna foundation it first. I'm about to just take some powder. And this powder is not like the most like pigmented powder, but it's like the lightest powder that I got because all my other powders I feel like are just a tad too dark for like my scalp color. You feel me? I'm gonna just go ahead and just dust this all over here, right? Especially on these little, I feel like the little ear tabs are like the hardest part for real, for real. 
perfect. Now let's cut this. Okay, so anyway, back to the story. It was definitely like hard. Like you don't get married and think that you're going to like ever separate. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody gets in a relationship like I'm about to break up with this person. We gonna end up breaking up. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody, especially like getting married to someone, you don't, you expect for your partner to be like your partner, you know, when, when you get married, like the one. Of course it doesn't always work like that. And you know, it's, it's whatever, you know, go with the flow type shit, roll with the punches. But that was like one of the most challenging times in my life, like literally. There were some times where girl, I didn't even think that it was just, I just hit a lot of fucking low moments in that time. Breakups are like hard, you know, regardless of who broke up with who. But nonetheless, I'm definitely gonna share with you guys how to be a bad bitch after a breakup and i'm also gonna lay my wig at the same time while i tell you because it's just a little late night vibe and i just feel like talking so i think that this is as good as my ball cap is gonna get right let me go ahead and to get my wig prepared and things let me go ahead and wipe off all this excess lace tint off this wig because i don't want to get that on my head or nothing wipe that off I really should let it dry for longer than what it dry for, but I don't really have time for that. Let me see. Oh, it's so pretty. When it comes to laying my wig, sometimes I use um, got to be, but with this particular lace on this wig, I really like to use like regular wig glue. So I'm using Erica J's wig glue, hold me down. Um, I'm just gonna put this like right here. Yeah, I'm using the tip of this razor. <laughs> after a breakup like really i'm telling you like a breakup can almost like break you because i didn't believe in that until i almost got broken and when i say i almost got broken it's like i just felt like i don't know what i felt like but i was in a really low place so to help you get out that low place tips okay number one dm all that sappy shit that you want to post on your story to your friend don't post no sappy stuff like no nothing don't post anything sappy anything that you post needs to be related to bossing up okay and being that bitch you will be in somebody's group text and they will be laughing at you none of that there are people that's waiting on you to be sad there's people that's waiting on your relationship to fail there's people like that don't give them the satisfaction there's no purpose of posting the sappy things. I know you might want him to see it or them to see it, what you're posting, but they don't care. So stop posting, literally. Like, that's so bad when people do that. Like, after you got a relationship, the first thing they do is you could tell that when they have a relationship problems because they run to Facebook or Instagram and then they post it. Don't do that. Also, don't explain shit. Don't bash him. Don't say shit. Don't say nothing. Because if you expose him or her, you also expose yourself that's just like a little bit like too much business you know what i'm saying that's just in too much business like we don't have to be in each other business that much you feel me like uh -uh. also like you might hate him now but it's kind of like when you tell all your friends everything that he did and then y'all get back cool and it's like Ooh, sis and your friends still hate him but like you don't hate him no more you know it just doesn't do anything for anybody but make you look kind of pressed like i've seen some relationships in where all they talk about is the person that they were in a relationship in and it just gives bitter like it just gives obsessed it gives i see why they broke up with you um it gives immaturity like i just it just gives you know if you got to delete social media apps off your phone so you don't post nothing, DM that shit to your friends. Make a burner account. Post everything that you need to post up there. Just do not post that shit on your story for the whole world to see. Do not do not send that status. Do not send that tweet. No matter how mad or how hurt you are, no matter how fucked up the situation was, if you just move gracefully, trust me, it will like help the situation at the end. Like once you're over it and everything um number two is to heal um healing is the hardest part because this is like where you gotta like really dig deep and like find yourself and like know yourself and like try to separate the parts of you that are actually you and the parts of you that was like associated with the relationship that's like the hardest part but the key to being happy after a breakup is finding peace and um 
that being with yourself, um, being by yourself, just finding peace with yourself and who you are as a person. I'm just not letting that identity follow you, you know, finding who you are outside of that relationship. This was particularly hard for me because I had been wife Jayla for so long and then I was mom Jayla and then I was wife and mom Jayla and I had never been like Jayla Jayla. Like I was never not in a relationship. I went from being in a four year relationship in high school to being in a six year marriage. And um, I was never by myself. I never lived by myself. I was never not in a relationship. Never had a time to sit and be like, I like this, I don't like this. Like I never had that time. And I feel like that time is extremely, extremely important. Just take as much time as you need to figure out what you're bitter about, what you're upset about. And when I say bitter, I don't mean like bitter in like a, in like a crazy way, like, oh, you bitter. I mean like things that you think about and it just like rub you the wrong way. Like, Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Like things that can still affect your energy, um, affect your mood. You know, you got to find a way to like release all of that stuff so it doesn't affect your energy in your mood. You literally have to be like, I'm above that shit, like period. Like I'm just above it. But also allow yourself to feel those feelings that you're feeling. Like allow yourself to hurt, allow yourself to cry, be mad, be angry if some shit was fucked up. Me, I'm a principal. I'm about the principal. If you do something to me, and it's, and it's the principal, then it's always just going to be the principal. And I can't fuck with you no more because the principal, period. Like, that's just the type of person that I am. But allow yourself to feel whatever you need to feel and heal, like genuinely heal from that. Because you don't want to be damaged goods. You know what I mean? You don't want to be hurt. And plus, hurt people hurt people. So make sure you take the time to heal so you don't hurt anybody else. Also, identify what was like toxic in your relationship so you don't repeat it or identify the things that you did wrong, the things that they did wrong. Just understand, really dissect the whole breakup for what it was and then start like, oh, well, I did this because of this. You know, he did this. And then realize that half the things that people do to you have nothing to do with you, have all to do with them whether they're projecting, deflecting, anything. If someone's doing something to you, it probably has nothing to do with you. So um, a part of healing is not blaming yourself for anything that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like people have their own traumas. People have their own insecurities, the things that they feel like they need to do to feel comfortable um, moving through life or the things that they haven't dealt with. Um, so just realize that a lot of things that someone has done to you is not your fault. They didn't treat you bad because you're a bad girlfriend. They treated you bad because they feel bad about themselves and they want you to also feel bad about yourself or they don't know how to make someone feel good because they don't feel good about themselves. Just a lot of different variations, a lot of different things that can go along with why someone did something. You'll also be okay with not hearing sorries. Every time you're not going to get a sorry, like you're going to have to heal from shit that people are never going to admit to, to doing to you, you know, and that's just like trauma based in general. Anytime someone, nobody ever wants to admit that they hurt somebody or affected someone's life in a negative way. Um, so just kind of get used to just not hearing sorries or having closure or anything. Sometimes you won't know the answer because the person that you're asking doesn't know the answer themselves or they buried it so deep that they refuse to revisit it. Go to therapy, talk to your friends cry block them if you need to because you never know like what triggers you until after it is too late like that just made me think about that and now I have these negative feelings and I have these negative emotions behind something that is just I'm free from this person but I still am have like their energy is still like lingering on me you know so heal okay let me put this wig on before we go to number three it's not even completely dry hair tie for this look at you Jayla being all prepared look at you girl I'm gonna just take this hair put it up in a ponytail all right so I'm gonna just take my comb and go through and press it down I really feel like it dried too much honestly because it's not really giving what they said it was supposed to have gave it might have dried too much first of all the sides is not glued down because they're too big damn in some spots it is some spots it's not why every time i've been doing this for like a couple of weeks now and it works for me every single time but why when i try to record a video it don't want to work like what's tea like that's some real whack shit that like now when i want to record a video doing it it don't really want to work come on glue Okay, this is really low-key, like, the hardest part of this whole thing because it's like, girl, you really gotta, like, be careful not to, like, you know, cut, like, a part of your wig off that you need. And really, it's just the lace that you gotta cut off. But, like, this part is so difficult to me because 
Like, I can't see, child. Child, I can't see. Push this back over here. Push that back over there. Okay, now, here goes nothing. Mm, that felt so long to cut. <laughs> but that lace so much better. Okay, let's do this side. And then we're gonna re glue down. We're gonna redo these these sides. It's the fact that hair got in this house. Like, that's not gonna lay properly if there's hair all in it. Okay. I low key feel like this might be like too much, but I don't think so. Yes, that just fits so much better. Okay, so we're gonna re glue these sides right quick. Um. Do y'all like my heart on my eyebrow? I got it off this girl on TikTok. She did it and it just gave me like certified little boy vibes. So it's here. I think I'm liking like the natural look of this hair. So I think I'm gonna leave it like naturally like this cause I really like the texture of it. I'm gonna have to go get a new battery in a minute. And all these little straight hairs is not supposed to be here. Like why does wanna do this right when I'm doing this? Like that's really why to me. Like it never, it never acts up. I don't really know how secure this son of a bitch is. So I'm gonna cut this lace now. Cut it all off, even though it's not really. Okay, so number three is refocus your energy. <laughs> Just try not to be sad all day. Like for me, I went shopping. Um, I played in my makeup, me and my baby did things together. Refocusing your energy is just necessary because like when you're going through a breakup, like it's so easy to put energy into things that like don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like checking their social media or just putting energy in the shit that just is not productive. Just refocus your energy. Like if you're upset, if you're sad, if you're mad, whatever you are feeling, just refocus it into something productive. You know, this wig is looking quite wiggy, but you know what? We just gonna trust the process. I'm telling y'all to trust the process. I don't even trust the goddamn process because why the fuck do it look so wiggy? Like what? She on there though. She's on there. She's wiggy, but she on there. <clears throat> Um, I got my hot comb right here warming up. Reorganize your closet, girl. Um, volunteer somewhere. Practice your makeup. Do something. Just do not sit around thinking about, you know, what happened. Just try to move forward. You need a distraction. You're going to have to stay productive in order to do that. Oh, no, baby. I'm going to have to plug this some more. That's too thick. Girl, for real, for real, by refocus your energy, I mean go get some money. Like... That's basically what I mean. Like, if making money don't make you happy, that's a way. Like, if you take all that energy and focus it on something that make you money, girl, that's that's it right there. And like myself, I try to I challenge myself to do vlogmas, um, which I was being very successful in until I caught COVID. But um, yeah, I try to challenge myself to do things that um, would take up a lot of time. Put this back in a ponytail. Oh, now we're losing a ponytail holder. Child, where it go? This little piece of floor that I'm working on, how the damn ponytail gone? Like, for real, this floor ain't nothing big. Oh, I was sitting on it. <laughs> okay, I've never plucked a wig you know, like on my head, but I have to, so. Okay, wow, excuse me while I experiment with my life. Ooh, girl. I'm gonna come back to y'all. <clears throat> okay, booze. I plucked it a little bit so it's not as dense as it used to be. Um, it still needs a little bit more plucking light right here. I never had to pluck a wig while it was on my head before. That's very interesting. Um, so as for my baby hairs, I want to do those like wispy baby hairs. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say by wispy. I guess y'all just gonna have to wait and see what I'm talking about. This is what I'm working with right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. I'm gonna just cut them with some scissors. Cutting them kind of short because I kind of want them to just lay straight down on my forehead. And I know it looks crazy, but like really trust me, got to be. Child, the hell is this? Girl, let me find out this needs some plucking too. Don't worry about it, I'm gonna just go through right quick. Much, much better. Just mm -hmm. not going like how I thought it was supposed to go. It's really not giving what they said it was supposed to have gave. 
So I'm just gonna do my regular baby hairs, okay? And stop trying to try new shit because obviously it's not working for me. Okay, so number four is take care of yourself, girl. Like, take care of yourself. Make sure you look the fuck good, especially when you see him. Like, me and my ex used to do one week on, one week off. And every time I see him, I make sure I look good. Like, I made sure my hair look good. Um, Just make sure you look good all the time. And plus... When you walk around the house and you look good, you feel so much better about yourself. Like, just take a few extra moments during the day, like during the morning, and like really focus on like getting yourself together. Whether it be like putting a little bit of makeup on or just doing something like for yourself, you know? Um, just look good. Like, I'm telling you, it'll help you feel better. You'll feel so much better when you actually look better. Like, take care of yourself. If that means that you just got to go the little extra mile, because I know sometimes in relationships we can get very comfortable with the way we look and we kind of get stuck in doing things a certain kind of way. Um, but when you're not in a relationship, you know, you kind of got to like, you know, get uncomfortable. So, yeah. So, yeah, once you're out of that relationship, you kind of got to learn how to like get uncomfortable. Keep your nails, lashes, brows, toes, everything done. Keep it done. Just keep it done. It'll just help you feel so much better. Like, even wearing, like, matching bra and panty sets help me feel so sexy. And just so, like, just really like I'm taking care of myself, you know? And I don't know how wearing matching bra and panties makes me feel like that. But, girl, it do. So, that's just that. Y'all, baby here, I can't really explain. It's like an art form, okay? can't really explain how to do edges girl number five is step outside the box like most growth is uncomfortable you have to step outside the box you have to do things that you never did before so you can figure out what you like and you can just like this part of your life can like have you can grow like literally like that's what it's for it's so you can grow i had wore some big eyelashes for the brats party because it was supposed to be um like dramatic like costume makeup type thing not costume but i was supposed to look like a brass doll and child i put them eyelashes on and i never went back i never went back like i never thought i would like lashes like that girl i love them now me and jojo are like basically like the same person because we both be walking around with these big old lashes on and i just love them so much so just try new stuff that was my favorite part about healing is like trying to find new things that i liked and um just really just focusing on me like it was literally just like all about me and that's what you got to kind of take from it it's like this is just a time where it's all about me you know and uh, considering i feel like it's never been all about me being single was like especially exciting for me because i'm like wow it's really it's really whatever the fuck i want to do <laughs> Like, it's really whatever I want to do. And that was just so liberating to me. Go out with your friends. Like, find friends. Find new friends. Go out with your old friends. Like, I couldn't have really went through what I went through without my friends. Um, I definitely, like, needed them um, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and even, like, some of my subscriber term friends, I feel like... The people that kind of like recognized that something was up with me i could sense like that they were just really in tune with like my energy you know what i mean those people that reached out to me you know like you know jayla are you okay and things like that i had a really strong connection with those people and now they're my friends <laughs> so i'm about to spray this with some what's crazy is this is exactly how i wanted my baby hairs to be like exactly let me comb out all this um the hair that i plucked but um yeah i'll never forget how some of y'all had me completely fucked up but it's okay it's cool you know what i'm saying i forgive y'all or whatever and i'm not even gonna get started on the ones that was all up in his dms because <laughs> y'all are weird but um go out with your girls like plan um me and my friends we did friends miss we did galentine's we did um friendsgiving like we literally just got together for no reason like we literally found a reason to hang out with each other and it was so much fun so i'm just gonna take this hot comb and try to like so number seven is learn your insecurities and do something about them 
um learning what it, you're insecure about like when it comes to like your body not what anybody like made you well even if someone made you insecure about something figure out what you're actually insecure about and then try to do something about it if it's your skin if it's your weight if it's anything that you can fix and you can work towards try to do that you know that'll just help you um have confidence like real confidence and like confidence will literally like radiate from you once you fix those insecurities and they don't bother you you know like it'll be effortless like you'll move different you'll talk different you'll walk different act different you know it'll just be like effortless so i've literally been like traveling so it's the only brush i can find so we don't have to make do it with this group. number eight is take pictures like i cannot stress this enough take pictures you're gonna need pictures because pictures are gonna help you feel so good about yourself you're gonna be like who is that pretty bitch be like you that pretty bitch like period you're gonna be like that's you like who is that bitch that's you like what do you mean that's me bitch that's you in that picture bitch that's you you look that fucking good take pictures bitch plus you're gonna need some you know what i'm saying when they go on your Instagram or when they go on your Instagram and they see you looking all the fuck good and it's like, yeah, bitch, yeah, I look good, period. I'm like, yeah. Um, also, take nudes because, number one, you're going to need to send nudes to um, your new booze. And, um, yes, booze with an S because you're going to need a roster. Um, and um, so, yeah, take nudes. They're going to make you feel sexy. They're going to make you feel good. Why did I, why I do this to this wig like this, y'all? Hold on. Let me just. Why would I? Why would I do this to this wig like this? And if any of his other girlfriends find you, you kind of want to stay up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this her. Like, I made sure I did that. I put this her pictures on my Twitter. So in case you need, you know what I'm saying? This is a shortcut. So you don't have to go through and screenshot a whole bunch of pictures. You just screenshot this one tweet and then you can send it to your group text because yes, bitch, that is me. That is her. Her is me. Okay, so number nine, um, when you're ready, you're gonna need a sneaky link roster. Um, I prefer sneaky links versus like dating because I don't want people in my business. Uh-uh, I just don't want no people in my business. All my links is sneaky links and everybody that I talk to is know how to shut the hell up and nobody will ever know that we talked. So you're gonna need a sneaky link roster and you're gonna need a couple of people on your roster that are thirsty okay these guys aren't gonna be like what you want you know what i'm saying like first of all when you come in a relationship anything is gonna be like better than what you had before you know at first glance but um you just want these guys to be thirsty you just kind of want to make make them make you feel good you know what i'm saying like it's just gonna we already feel good on the inside yes but like having someone that's thirsty over you just kind of like um, makes you feel like the princess that you are and plus I like my niggas thirsty over me that's just the way I like my niggas to come so I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with me I'm not insecure I'm not looking for validation from guys or anything but like I like my niggas thirsty and so I need them to be thirsty so number 10 is change your sur surroundings like I moved out um we even bought a house in February a lot of people were asking about like what happened to the house I literally wanted nothing to do with the house I don't want the money from the house I don't want to have nothing to do with the house. We bought the house together. It's your house. You can have the house. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm just not. Okay? Have it. I just wanted a fresh start. Um, new beginnings. I got my apartment. Decorating my apartment was so much fun. Like, I could just decorate it however I wanted to decorate it. I didn't have to worry about, like, you know, checking with nobody or just... I just decorated however I wanted to decorate it. was just my space. So, change your surroundings. Like, if there's anything around you that reminds you of, you know, something traumatic or something um, that triggers, like, bad emotions, get rid of it. Like, get rid of it, sell it, throw it away, burn it, do whatever the fuck you gotta do, do it. Because it's not worth your energy. You know what I mean? Like, certain things hold energy. You feel me? This video's almost done. And I'm going to leave you with this piece of information, okay? Because my wig is on, it's laid, it's not like strained or anything, but this is cute by itself. Even if you're down, bad, or like feeling bad or feeling emotional, um, never let them see you sweat. Like literally, you gotta fake it till you make it, pull that shit together, at least in front of them um don't blow their phone up don't bleach their clothes don't scream don't yell don't throw things um don't bust through their tires and put glitter in the air vents of their car just 
don't do it. Um, just remember to stay graceful the entire time because you never want them to feel like they dodged a bullet ever, like ever. You, <laughs> everything that you do that's like crazy is just gonna furthermore confirm to them that like, this is the reason why she doesn't deserve, you know, this is the reason why we're not together or look at how crazy she is, y'all, because you better believe he's definitely telling his next bitch about how crazy and how ain't shit you are or whatever the fuck. Um, yeah, so uh, it's just going to be more confirmation that they did the right thing. And some about a nigga walking out of my life and just feeling like his life is going to be better without me just don't sit right in my soul. So the only way to go is literally up. So I'm not going to stoop down to your level. I'm not going to be I'm above it, literally above it. Um, Yeah. So the main thing to this is that you don't want to be someone else's problem. You want to be someone else's blessing. Like that's literally it. You don't want to be like, oh, that's someone else's problem. That's what people say when they get out of a relationship. Oh, he's someone else's problem. She's someone else's problem. No, I'm someone else's blessing, period. And that's just that on that. So um, I hope you guys took something away from this video. Um, if you are going through a breakup, I know it's hard right now, but literally like time doesn't heal all, but I think it does heal like most things. So give us some time. Um, find you some new dick. That's the best distraction. And um, yeah. Go out, do some bald head hoe shit. Have fun. Bye. <laughs>